Today in the Single Guy Kitchen, what we're gonna do is we are going to make chili mac. Some people call it chili mac. Some people call it um, call it uh, American goulash. Uh, to be totally honest with you, it's chili mac. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Here's how. Here's some of the things you need. You need a pepper. You need some tomatoes, mushrooms, onion. Um, elbow macaroni and some over here a bunch of different herbs and spices all right so that's and by the way we got uh, ground beef here right there that has been thawing out all day so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that let me get this prepped and we're gonna do some cooking. First, I wanna make a drink. Bye. Be right back. I think. Yeah. Friday gin and tonic. Good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and prep all this stuff. And um, that takes a long time. And I wanna make this, these videos between 12 and 15 minutes long. So, I'm gonna pause while I prep. Don't worry, I'll keep you up to date. Now I gotta show you this. My new chef knife, isn't that nice? It is also self-sharpening, woo! All right, so far I've got the onions and the green pepper cut up and next we're doing the mushrooms and the tomatoes. All right, so what we got here, uh, right here we got the um, onions and the green peppers, right here we got the tomatoes and the mushrooms, and then here I finally diced some um, pepperoncinis. And uh, we're going to start that out. That's going to be some of the mix. We're going to start everything out with a little bit of garlic. And we will start cooking the meat here in just a second. So let me pause it and take it on over there. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and light the fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Oh, come on, man. Turn on and don't blow up on me. Daggum it. Uh, drives me nuts sometimes. There we go. That'll do it. That drives me nuts. Okay. First thing we're going to throw in, butter. Second thing we're going to throw in, a little bit of olive oil. Get it in there just like that, nice and fine. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And we're going to wait for that to go ahead and heat up a little bit. Now what we're going to throw in, the garlic. Now, I don't really care about how much garlic I put in there. I put in as much as I want because nobody's going to be around me later on tonight. Yeah, boy. All right, now we're getting a good little sizzle. We'll get a good little sizzle going here in a second, and then we'll add the meat. Always wash your hands before and after you handle raw meat and fish and chicken. All right. All right, here we go. Time for dad to meet. I got some leftover beef from last week. We'll go ahead and throw that in there. Some good ground beef. I'm gonna make a lot of this. I'll probably eat off of it, eat on it for a couple of days. And about a pound I have left over. And get it in there. <laughs> he said meat. All right, once that's in there like that, then what we're gonna do Add some of the seasoning. So, uh, I like to use a little bit of pepperoncini sauce as some seasoning, just like that. Um, here's some red pepper. We'll put some red pepper in there. Boom, 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 boom. Some red pepper. There you go. Done. All right, chili powder. Spread it out nice, just like that. Ground cumin. I don't even know what that what the heck cumin is, but this is ground cumin. 
Garlic salt. Just like that. Pepper. Ground pepper. And then, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of Italian herbs. Just like that, oh yeah. We'll make it taste a lot better later on. We'll just go ahead and just dump that in there. No need to measure because, frankly, who cares? Always cook to taste. All right, well, I got the meat covered. You hear that? You hear that? Oh, yeah. The water's boiling. So what we're going to do with the water boiling like that, what we're going to do is we're going to take the macaroni. Throw it in there. Don't put oil in the pasta. Give it a good stir. Turn down the thing and then just cover it right back up. Just like that. Ooh, that's coming around pretty nicely too. Hey, you know what would be good in here? Franks! Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's exactly what we needed in there. Some francs. That'll give it a lively taste. Put you on pause for a little bit. Oh yeah. Hear that? Man. It's cooking. I'm gonna have to cook out some of this juice, but one of the things that I did buy is I got some tomato puree, okay? And what I'm gonna do with that tomato puree is I'm going to basically soak up some of this, uh, some of this, you know, the the water that's coming off of the off of the meat, the water that's gonna be coming off of the vegetables, all that kind of stuff, and it'll it'll give it give it a good thick little sauce there. All right, let's make this, uh, let's let this go, yes. And at this point, I'd like to put in the minced peppercini, just like that, mix it up really good. Yeah, oh man. Charred animal flesh, lovely. Time to throw in the onions. And the green peppers, tomatoes, and the uh, mushrooms. Now I like I like my mushrooms kind of you know big. I don't like them diced up. I like them big. I like to see them and taste them. Um, but hey, you know what? You do you, fam. That's the whole point of this. I'm just showing you how I do it. And if you want to get this done another way, hey, more power to you. I wish you all the best on that. All right, the macaroni is done. I like mine a little bit of a dente, which is perfect right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and strain that. Yep. All right, I'm gonna leave that sit there for a little bit because the uh, other stuff is not quite finished. So we'll let that sit there. It doesn't matter if it does or not. It's gonna get reheated anyways, right? Right. No, no, no. This isn't that. This is good stuff. All right, it's coming along nicely, but it's still a little bit too brown. So what we wanna do is we wanna red it up just a little bit. Throw in some of that tomato puree, and that'll give it a good, nice red color. Waste not, want not. Hmm. 
There you go. Nittany is really redding it up just a little bit. Good, 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 good. Almost ready for the macaroni. All right, so what I've done now <clears throat> is I've let it reduce for, oh, I don't know, a good 20 minutes, okay? So now it's right where I want it to be. Notice there's a little bit, there's just enough, there's just enough um, uh, sauce in there to get everything all sticky. All right, so remember these? Yeah, we had those. Now what I didn't do with these is I didn't over, I didn't cook them exactly to the point they needed to be cooked. I kind of undercooked them a little bit. And now what I'm doing is I'm putting them in Right? Just like that. And once those are in, then what I'll do is I'll start stirring. And see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak up a lot of the excess sauce by cooking the macaroni. Ooh, interesting, huh? Yeah. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. All right, so it's gonna cook like that for about another 10 minutes, and then um, I'll show you the result. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we have. It smells awesome. Hang on. All right, so I just got this, okay? <laughs> Looks delicious, doesn't it? It does. Now. Hey, if, if, you know, you season it the way you want to season it, I got to throw some Franks in there just like that. Take some Parmesan cheese. Oh, yeah. And that's what you got. I give to you American goulash or what I call it, chili mac. Thanks very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. I mean, seriously, I'm trying to build this channel, so help a brother out, man. All right. Talk to you later.